taken. Yikes! What? Squirrel Stampede! Please like and subscribe! I'm now on a slime free diet. On the table, Mega Constructs Breakout Beasts, two in one fusion feast. Slime! Uh oh, this will get messy. Not really sure what the squirrels are trying to accomplish there. On the back of the pack, meet Glazer and Scald. Glazer, a pretty gray ice-like dragon with a beautiful blue slime. And Scald, fiery hot with a double tail. And wouldn't you know, these two combine into Scald Glazer. These two from Series 3 Breakout Beasts. This time we have one mega egg to break out and constructs. Let's see if we can get this package open and a little closer to the Fusion Beast. Up close, a pretty spectacular double-sided egg. It's almost like the yolk in the center is oozing out the crack. Fiery red on one side, icy cold on the other, each with some studs to place your breakout beast on top. Let's crack open the egg. Well, that wasn't so difficult. Well, let's begin with the white egg and see if we can find Glazer inside. Cracking open, there is Glazer in the pack. And we have our two-in-one Fusion Beast instructions inside. Oh, the fine print, very interesting. Will have to be a good fireside read. All right, let's open this slime pack up. Go! Oh, that just kind of flew out. That's a first for breakout beasts. Couple extra pieces. What do we got here? Oh, the blue ice slime. Always good consistency with it. And inside we've got our dragon to build. So the first thing we gotta do is clean out all of this slime. Oh, I think this really is my favorite color slime, the clear transparent blue. It often works the best, and it often looks the best. Simple blue slime. All right, let's clean all these guys up, and they're cleaning up really well. And what did we find in Glazer's eggshell? Not a donut, but a lot of pieces. Wait, why is there a skeleton with a golden kitchen sink in there? That is weird. I don't think that was supposed to be in there. So now we gotta build Glazer. Where do we start? Usually the torso is the best. Kind of funny, we're seeing some uh, pieces that almost look like he's all ready to mix up with a Scald, with this weird red back piece. Let's see if I can build him up. And mega constructed glazer. Wow, what an outstanding looking dragon. There's a very well balanced assortment of pieces going on. I really like his front smoky gray body. And a fiery red back to contrast with. Add in all the light blue elements and armor. And you've got a fantastic breakout beast. I also like the bronze chest armor. It balances well with the iron shoulder armors. Good looking dragon glazer is. Very excited now how he will fuse with Scald. So let's move Glazer off to the side and check on Scald. Wait a second. How did that skeleton with the sink on its head get back into the shot? <laughs> Feels like the set is haunted today. And opening Scald's other eggshell half. What? What is this? This is new. 
It's like a heart or something. A terrifying yolk. Well, how do we get scald out of this thing? Very rubber-like. Oh, okay, just on the bottom here. Oh, I like this. I hope this continues to happen with other Breakout Beast series. There's a fist. And a torso. A secondary bag of a bunch of little pieces. Got to tell you, as much as fun as slime can be, it's kind of nice doing this out of something different for a change. Really hard to clean off the slime off everything. Wow, all sorts of pieces coming out of this really gross, gross yolk from Mars, I believe. Good pieces in there, and there we have it. So you can totally reuse this. You could totally break your dragon back down and place him back inside this. I find this so much more exciting than the slime today. And there are the pieces of Scald. And Mega Constructed Scald. <sighs> kind of liking Scald now. He seems a little different than many of the breakout beasts. Kind of hunched down, kind of neck discombobulated. And look at the double tail. Very much like the double tail. Kind of scary Ow. spiny on the. Uh, let go, let go. Uh. Oh man. So, a very nice breakout beast. I'm conflicted on which one I like the best. Which one do you guys like? Uh, that skeleton again. Bringing back Glazer. These two really look good together. It's going to be a shame to break out them apart. But we gotta see Scald Glazer, don't we? The fusion beast is the main element of the toy. So now we have to bust apart these dragons. <laughs> and see if we can construct the Scald Glazer. Okay, I've sorted things out a little bit. I've got an armor pile over here. I've got legs and arms over here, some torsos, heads. I should be set to go for constructing the Fusion Beast. And constructed of Mega the Magnificent Scald Glazer, the two in one fusion beast. <laughs> Pretty incredible, impressive looking dragon we got there. What is this, a double headed centaur dragon? Oops, lost some armor. Maybe the only downside to the fusion beast is the larger the breakout beast, the easier they'll fall apart. Weight and structure starts becoming an issue, but totally worth it to see and build. Standing really well on the four legs. There were two legs extra, so if you wanted to, you could probably change out those front two arms. Over on the back, only a one tail, but we still have these two, ouch, ouch, pinchers. Good use of the blue dragon wings on its back. I just wish these could position a little bit better. Maybe if you get some uh, slime in there and let it dry, they'll hold. Surprisingly though, right now they're holding very well. Good armor elements throughout. They've always done so well with Breakout Beast's armor. I don't think there's a bad angle from any point on this dragon. And of course we have the double heads, Scald a little bit higher up, and Glazer lower down. 
Just be careful not to get your heads twisted. Well, what a fun two-in-one fusion beast pack. Really fun to seek out if you can see one on shelf. Of course, if you're creative, you can pretty much do the same with your regular breakout beasts. Although the fusion beast has that critical double-jointed neck feature for either the double head or the double tail. I don't believe that piece is included often with the breakout beasts. So that is one of the key elements that make this set really cool. And of course, the slime that comes with Glazier. Placing it on the flat part of the egg, you have a nice little foot bath. And not to forget Scald's yolk sack. On the box, it's recommended to take some of that slime and place inside the yolk and squeeze it out in all sorts of disgustingness. Let's give that a shot real quick. Maybe need a little more slime. Perhaps get another breakout beasts. But now you can ooze this out of the bottom here. Makes some great sounds, of course. That's even lovelier. And there you go. So play around with that. I really like this part of the toy, this extra rubbery piece to place pieces in. It is cool. I hope this is something continued with maybe Series 4 of Breakout Beasts because this is cool and unique. I could see just a whole bunch of different shapes of these and uh, placing your beasts inside. Kind of move away from the slime because the slime is so difficult to keep up with and it doesn't last forever anyway. Keep an eye out for the Fusion Beast. I found this one over at Fred Meyer. I believe they're on Amazon and Target as well. Running approximately $20, $25. That's what I have to say about that. You squirrels get so weird sometimes. 